Hello guys, hello. Okay. <clears throat> God give me the strength to do this video. I missed y'all, so I wanted to come hang out with y'all live. So if you catch this live, drop me a one. If you catch the replay, drop a two. And if you shared it, drop a flag emoji so I can say thank you. Hopefully this works. So um, I can't really tell if it's working right now, so you are gonna have to tell me, but it's raining cats and dogs here. Oh, oh. <laughs> you wanna be center of attention. Okay, say hi. Look. Do we match? <gasps> say we got a haircut yesterday. Say mom. Haircut. Say mom has no more boo boo. Oh, just hot. What do you want? Look, they're watching you. Say happy Fourth of July. Say, say hi. happy. <laughs> say happy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go with yeah. Dada. He, as soon as I went live, he, he heard it. Down. He was laying down. He said, oh, mom's live. So he's been kind of scared of me since I had my surgery because I had that nose thing. And he kind of would look at me weird. And then he got used to it. And he would tell everybody mom had a boo-boo. So, hey, Laura. Hey, guys. Happy 4th of July. Is it raining where everybody else is at? Hey, Julie. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Ginger. Hey, Casey. I missed hanging out with y'all. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Jennifer. There's a lot of y'all happy. I keep wanting to say Saturday, but it is definitely Wednesday. Who else has to go back to work tomorrow? Whew. I am off until Tuesday. Apparently, I'm supposed to feel, hey, Brittany. Hey, Deborah. Um, better by then, but we'll see. We will see. So, I got my splints out yesterday. Let me pull my hair back, guys. I just showered and tried to find all this... My makeup has legs and it walks. So that was hard work and I had to take a breather because I don't know if it's anesthesia or because I'm like breathing through my mouth. I, my energy is gone. I probably could take like 18 naps a day. But hey Becky, hey Jennifer. Raining for hours. Hey Kirby, I missed y'all. I hope I can get through this. Um, you are going to see me take lots of breaths. I have my snot rag ready because <laughs> my nose is still running like crazy. Um, anyways, but I've had a lot of people send me 4th of July makeup looks and I feel like I'm letting them down if I don't show one. So some of them are super creative and I really like them and I love that everybody thinks I have all this skill because some of them look like straight up art pieces and I am not that good. Speaking of um, I've been doing nothing with my hair for the last week, like literally just showering and hanging out. <laughs> hey, Chrissy. Um, but we'll talk about all that. Oh, look, I'm trying to be red, white, and blue. Let's be really honest right now. Um, I do not own a red, white, and blue anything, guys. That's really bad. So if you want to drop your favorite, like, shirt from a boutique that's red, white, and blue, I need to get one. So I'm wearing red shirt, white shorts, and blue accessories. That's as patriotic as we are gonna to get today. Hey, Melissa. Okay, so I missed coming live with y'all, so I figured 4th of July is one of my favorite holidays when it's not raining. I love fireworks, like love fireworks. Brandon and I used to go somewhere different every year for 4th of July to see fireworks, and we probably won't see any this year. So let me get my magic makeup bag um, and we're going to get ready together. I have not worn makeup in literally a week or more. Ooh, you are going to get to see me put on this magic. Okay. But I have, last year I did some famous flag lips and I've had a lot of people asking me to do them again. So we're going to have to improvise because my red lip liner grew legs and disappeared. So we're gonna have to figure a different red out, but we'll make it work, I always do. All right, I've got lots of stuff right here. Some people were sending me some really cool, hey Jennifer, um, eyeshadow looks. And um, I feel like you need like the sharpest liquid liner for some of them, they were really pretty. Anyway, okay. So I have all my makeup. Let me find, 
I'm sure I forgot something. I always forget something, but let's put primer on. Since it is raining and stuff and you want your makeup to stay, you definitely want to throw on some primer. I keep saying I'm about out of this, but it keeps giving me primer, so I'm not gonna clearly get, a, get rid of it until. Hey, Kaylin. Hey, Angela. Hey, Leanne. I gotta be really soft around my nose. So yesterday when I got my splints out, I was so nervous, but and I saw the PA and it was like a brand new nurse and then I wasn't sure, like, anyway. Apparently, I'm so glad I saw the PA. She said she's a little bit softer than the doctor when she pulled my splints out. But she like made me feel like I was gonna wake up like a new person today and that is totally not how it works. Y'all can tell I'm still clogged. Um, hey Delaney, hey Laura, hey Michelle. And if y'all see me like touch my face, it's because I have like pulsating pain right here. Like just like, you just wanna like push on it. You know, like trigger points like mm -hmm. Um, anybody else love to get their face massaged? I love it. Maybe only if you have sinus issues do you love your face rubbed. But anyway, I feel like there's still stuff that needs to like get out of here so I can like truly breathe. Hey, Tam. Okay. So while this sits, let me put some liner on so that I don't scare everybody. I did wear this to the doctor yesterday so that I didn't scare the doctor's office, which was nice. But... I don't know if it's the general anesthesia that's making me this like weak energy wise because I'm a very energetic person. I like to go, 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 go. But I literally have to like take multiple breaths and the other day I showered, made a four minute video, ate lunch and took a two hour nap. And I don't nap y'all. Hey Sandy. Hey Jaylee. I literally do not nap. Like even when Corbin was a newborn, they're like, sleep when the baby sleeps. Like, no, that's just not me. I just don't do that. <laughs> oh man, this is so awful. But if it does what it's supposed to do, it should be pay off and be worth it. Y'all, this is how OCD I am about like matching. I even wore the blue perfume because red, white, and blue. Oh, let me tell you two of my fears. Speaking of that, okay. Okay, while I put my foundation on. Look, my clean brush. Mm, I love clean brushes. Your makeup will never apply better without a clean brush. Okay, so you wanna shake this foundation up. This one is more liquid than it is thick. Um, so you gotta shake it up. It's emollient based. So it just sits on top of your skin and it's time release. It's just heavenly. I can't wait to put it on and feel like a woman again. Hopefully it takes my pain away. So I'm gonna tell you all about my little recovery. But first I'm gonna tell you about my fears. So we're like our own worst enemy, right? Yeah, hey Satara, hey Elisa, hey Angela, hey Jaylee. Okay, so let me put this on. I know this is not the best lighting, but our lights have been flickering. So I figured even if the lights go out, at least I have my window light and we'll still be able to hang out. That's why it kind of looks dark. I didn't want to be in my bathroom and then lose power. Oh, I love the way this brush just applies the foundation. I'm telling you, brushes make such a world of difference. Like, look at that, just gives me life and baby booty, smooth face. So, hey Christy, I, hey Crystal, cannot say that I'm feeling better today. I actually feel a little bit worse than yesterday. I always dab it right here because I have one dark spot from pregnancy right there and right there um, that I like to dab it on so I can cover it. The beautiful thing is this brush is so soft I can go over my nose and it doesn't hurt it. Um, anyway, you can also build this. So like say you do a few drops on your brush and you're like, man, I really want a little bit of extra coverage. Put a few more drops. What up? But don't apply too much right at first because then it'll be too much and you're like, oh wait, I didn't want that much coverage or it just slides off your face. It's not meant to be a massively full coverage. <clears throat> and it doesn't weigh 100 pounds. Just because it doesn't weigh 100 pounds doesn't mean it doesn't coverage. Oh my gosh. Hey Rachel. Hey Nicole. Hey guys. Happy 4th of July. Is everybody staying low key? Well, I guess only if it's raining on you. Hey, Lindsay. 
I missed your surgery update. I need to have a deviated septum surgery. Well, I'm telling you my update right now, and I'm going to tell you my recovery. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Amy. Hey, Jody. Um. Anyways, so okay, y'all. Gives me life to be to look like that. I am going to use my favorite sculpting sticks just because I haven't worn makeup in a while and I want to just feel fabulous because I have not felt fabulous in a while. Oh, and look at this, guys. I decided with these shirts, I really love them and I've had them forever and I don't even know how long I've had these, but probably like forever. I don't want to hear Brandon's comment. He's going to say, you hoard everything. Anyway, so oh, even my teeth feel weird. Um, look at the bare bottom. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Brittany. Um, anyway, so let's sculpt and then we're going to do, we're going to get to the fun stuff in a minute. I do my face first because otherwise I feel like nothing looks put together. Ooh, see, it's even soft enough to go over my new nose. I don't even want to say new nose because I didn't change anything about my nose except the inside. I don't know why anybody would voluntarily have a no job, nose job. That is the worst recovery, guys. Not worth it to me. Oh yeah, someone told me I need a highlight like right here. Oh god. Anyway, so my fears. Two, three nights ago, I had a dream that they removed my splints too early. Hey, Lara, and my nose collapsed. So I told, I called the nurse on Monday, it was Sunday night. So the nurse called me back on Monday cause I called him on Friday cause I was having mad nausea. Oh my God, mad nausea. And, um, we're gonna talk about my two fears right now. Mad nausea, okay. I ended up having to stop taking the pain med. So I survived on Tylenol. Come on. Like that's what you get babies, right? Like my kid asks for Tylenol, it's that good. In the sense of taste, not helps with pain. <laughs> anyway, so I called them, I guess, at like 3.56 and they don't return calls after four until the next Monday, but I didn't know there was an after hours number, whatever. That's a whole nother story. They called me back on Monday and I told them my legit fear of my nose collapsing, okay? Y'all, I'm using this miracle brush for everything. You're gonna see me use it like eight times tonight, today. Um, but she, I was like, look, if it's too early, like there's no sense of me getting ready, like all that effort because I knew how exhausted I've been and I'm going to blame it on breathing out of my mouth and anesthesia and just being old because I've had a lot of surgeries and I love, this sounds really bad, being put under. Like it's like the best nap you'll ever get of your life, right? They like give you the good stuff in your IV and you're just like, oh, I love everybody. <laughs> but, um. She was like, okay, well, let me ask, but it wasn't too early. Some doctors do it after three days. My doctor does five to seven days and it was five days. So anyways, my legit fear was they were gonna pull these splints out and my nose was just slowly gonna sink. They did 10 different procedures. They didn't just do balloon. They did like, I don't even know. I'd have to read off the list. Pretty extensive apparently when I talked to the nurse, cause I was like, Everybody's telling me by day four I should feel better and five and I'm not feeling better. And anyway, yeah. So I go in and even the PA yesterday was like, you're gonna wake up tomorrow and feel like a new person. No, I'm still clogged, but apparently that's normal when I talk to my friends that have had this. So that makes me feel better because I was like, oh my God, I'm still clogged. I hurt, I can't breathe. What is this baloney? You'd think I'd be used to it because I live with a headache, right? Hold on. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Sassy. Oh, I probably shouldn't say your name. He's going to run off the couch. Hey, Monica. Hey, Melinda. Hey, Brianne. Anyway, so that was my first fear is that my nose was going to collapse. But what she told me is, hey, Unique, is... Y'all, don't forget to drop a flag emoji if you shared it, because I want to say thank you. I like to say thank you, and I'll miss it. Look at this contour. <laughs> Get it together, Val. <laughs> Nobody was going to tell me, like, hey, you only contoured, like, a part of your forehead. That is so funny. Blame it on the drugs, right? Good thing it's a subtle contour. Okay, I use the big one, too, for the contour. Y'all, when you're contouring, don't come past your eye, okay? 
This creates that skinny right there. Mm. Whew. Anyway, so that was my first fear. And anyway, she validated that it was not going to happen unless I snorted a lot of cocaine and my septum was like eaten away by cocaine or I got septal infections, which I do not get those, thank God. So my nose should not collapse. And, um, oh, I forgot to blend in right there. And then my second fear, oh, guys, I forgot to blend this guy over here too. I gotta get it together. Um, my second fear is that whenever I do get everything cleared, I'm gonna have such good sense of smell that things are gonna stink to me that I used to like. Because I'm gonna have such an open airway that I didn't realize was blocked. And I'm like genuinely afraid of that. I don't know if that's a legit fear or not. Thanks Denise for sharing. Hey Mary, I do sound terrible because I literally am still super clogged and feel like boo boo. But I'll probably have to take a four hour nap after this. It's gonna use up all my energy. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna not say it's from getting older. I'm gonna say it's because the anesthesia was legit. And yeah. Okay. I'm sure I'll find, oh, did I blend that? Okay, yeah. I'm sure I'll find somewhere else I didn't blend. Be really soft on the nose. Soft, soft. Hey, Paige. Do the plugs came, came out? Yeah, so I got my splints out yesterday and they numb your nose. If you have sinus issues, you've had your nose numbed a lot and you know it tastes really bad. But it didn't bother me. Some people I feel like maybe don't like it as much or if the doctor is rougher. She told me that the doctor is rougher than her. It just felt like somebody was pulling something out of my nose. Like literally like a foreign object came in and out of my nose. It did not feel, um, hey Miss Dorothy, hey Savannah, hey Elizabeth. It did not feel like um, pain. I was so nervous about that. I don't like people on my face. I don't like, um, yeah, I just don't know. So I was really, really nervous, um, but it wasn't bad. And then they suction. I thought she'd be able to suction everything out, and then I'd wake up today feeling like a million bucks, but that is not the case. And I'm going to be real with you because I, I don't like to sugarcoat things. I like people to be prepared. Like, I like to be prepared, you know. Um, God, bless your heart. I will say if you need it, apparently the outcome is worth it. I have not made it to that point yet. But, I mean, it's not a pleasurable surgery. Um, I maybe had more needed done than you did, so mine may be a little more extensive and maybe worse. I don't know. Um, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but it was still, it wasn't fun, but it's, I mean, if it's necessary, I would do it. Okay, so now you can come in with your powder, or I'm going to do a finishing powder. We're going to pretend it's sunny outside because this powder like blurs imperfections, but it also has SPF in it. I love it. So. You look 20 pounds lighter. You better eat that dessert. <laughs> hey, Carolyn, I did eat some of that dessert. So my mother-in-law made me some kind of sex dessert. <laughs> it's called like, I don't know if she can type it on here. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Haley. And um, I am definitely only about four pounds lighter, but I am lighter. Y'all, so this finishing powder, it has a little bit of a shade to it. It's a little lighter, but it's SPF. And I, so if you're out in the sun and you don't like to be greasy from um, sunscreens, this is for you. And even kids can use it, guys. But this is the light one. I just wanted something light because I feel like I haven't seen sun in ever. And I guess I'm going to stay in my winter shade again once in another year. Oh, I'm going to show y'all a trick of this too. So I kind of tump it up and down and give it a little shake, but I think you can just pump it. Like this is a legit pump. And then you powder from the nose out, that's the proper form, and rub in circles. So it's just a finishing powder. I wish the lighting was better, but y'all get the point, right? Um, oh my goodness. I don't have to just keep wiping my nose. Hey Lisa, sex in a pan. Hey, Ashlyn. It's really good. Hey, Tanya. Okay, or you can just use regular powder, whatever you want. Let me see if it's my camera. Hold on, guys. Maybe. 
maybe not it's probably just the lighting I know the lighting's weird but I wanted to do it right here because it's still better than bathroom lighting anyway so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of powder I like to really finish my makeup I'm oil more oily than dry so a powder is just where it's at for me some days I just wear powder okay so my platform's done now we're gonna move to the fun part I really want to throw my hair up. Brian, would you want to go grab me a couple hair ties? Hey, Christy. Hey, Laura. Oh, you're laying down. Okay, never mind. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Susie. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, y'all. Better than having blood running down my face, right? Okay. Okay. Now for the fun part. So, Ooh, let's, I know I want to start with this base. Anybody own this cream shadow? It's like a perfect nude creamy shadow. If not, you should. And if you're a lip plumper person, you can actually get it on sale right now with a lip plumper. Who's a lip plumper person? Drop me a lip emoji or some hearts if you like lip plumpers. I have pretty full lips, um, but the lip plumpers make my lips like... Oh, thank you, Miss Debbie. Hey, Robin. Okay, so... This is called Victorious, and it's a perfect base for your eyeshadows. Everybody should have this in your makeup bag just because it can be used for so many things, but it's already got a primer in it. So I'm just gonna use it as my base while I figure out what I'm gonna do. Savannah, you like lip plumpers. What color? This is called Victorious Cream Shadow. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Rosanna. Um, y'all should look. Oh, Stacy, you like lip plumpers too? Oh, Lisa too. I hope y'all have seen the new ones that just came out. That are there's five different shades. So there's six. There's a clear one, and then there's five colors. It's like a pink sparkly. There's like a nude color, like neutral nude. Um, there is like a deeper brownish. There's a like fire engine red. There's like a mauvey purple, which I think is gonna be my favorite. They have like peppermint oil in them and it's just amazing. Okay, so Victoria's, isn't that pretty? Another thing I like about these matte, uh, matte cream shadows, they dry to a powder finish, so they'll never crease no matter how oily you are. Um, yes, you can use it under your eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Kelly. Okay. Hey, Heather. Um, all right, so let's see how I wanna do. I can't remember what I did last year. I try to change it up every year. Um, I know I didn't use my pressed individual shadows because they weren't around, so that's what I think I'm gonna use. Because look at that blue right there. Mm. 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 Okay. So. All right, I gotta be easy with these because I drop them all the time. So if I want red, white, and blue, I need a red shadow. Somebody needs to send in a red shadow and I don't know if y'all have seen like the preferred customer thing they're doing but this color comes in the customer preferred customer kit look at these four aren't those gorgeous we'll do that another day another day another time when I feel way more better okay red white blue so maybe I could do red white blue I could do a layered cake look but it might cover the white, or I can do red, white, blue. Bring it into my crease. Hey, Alexis. Hey, Cindy. All right, so. Yes, Savannah, I will message you. Hey, Melissa. Okay, let's figure this out. Red, white, blue, red, white, blue. I've been totally into layered cake looks right now. But I feel like when you see red, white, and blue, like it should go sideways. Y'all help me out. Do you want me to do, hey Amy, do you want me to um, do a layered cake? Hey Cassandra. Or do you want me to like left to right or top to bottom? Y'all be the judges. And that be the case. I think I'm gonna use my blush for the red. I'll be honest, because there's not a red eyeshadow. And 
blush kind of comes out red, right? Hey, Megan. Do the white last on top of the other two. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, let's see. We'll see. Okay. Let's just do red, white, blue. We'll start from the corners. Okay. Inner corner. Let me get... Let me get this shader brush. So I really like this shader brush because it's short and it really pushes. Hey, Marissa. Okay. Let's see if this turns. This is Seductive Blush. Who owns this? Did you know you could wear it as an eyeshadow? I feel like it's going to be the best red. Even though my lips aren't going to really match because they're going to be like bright red like my shirt. That's okay. All right. So we'll do the red on the inner corner. I'm probably going to do some highlight too on there. Oh, sizzling splash. I thought about wearing sizzling or stubborn splash. I didn't think about it for my eyeshadow, but you can definitely use a red liquid lipstick for eyeshadow. Good call. That is vibrant red. You're not going to get much more red than that. Good call. I know some people use like a white eyeliner on their lid. We're gonna use blush. Hey, Alicia. The lips are gonna be the best part though, so you're gonna have to stick around for them. Oh, you know what? I bet I could, I'm gonna bring it down here too and just make my whole eye red, white, and blue. Just don't poke yourself out. Okay, we can come back and touch up colors too. So with that being said, I'm gonna use the sponge brush Hey Charlie, hey Stephanie, hey Kimberly. Okay, we're gonna use this as the white. It's called Optimistic. It's just a white shimmery, shimmer, shim, shim. Let me get this just in case I need this. Hey Misty, hey Lisa, hey Megan. Hey guys, okay. Happy 4th of July. If only it would stop raining. Kind of makes me feel good though that it's raining because I don't feel 100. All right, so I'm gonna push this on. Usually I apply the lightest colors first because it's really hard to blend a lighter over a darker, but we're gonna just do it. Look at that. Mm. Not a pretty white. I love this sponge brush too because it's not like the ones we used when we were like two and we bought from the store. It legitly stays on. And I'll blend it and make it all even and pretty in a minute. Hey, Caitlin. I cannot say that I'm feeling a lot better. Hey, Katie. Hey, Marissa. But I couldn't miss Fourth of July makeup. <laughs> I just toughed it out. Sometimes I use fun things to distract me from my pain instead of wallowing in my pain. <laughs> um, anybody else? Okay. And then there's this really pretty cream shadow called Whimsical. It's a blue. I thought about using that, but I think I'm going to use, I've had, I think I've done the blue cream shadow because it's been a while, around a while. So let's do this new blue that I haven't used before. I don't even know if I've ever used it, honestly. It's called uh, Thankful. Isn't it pretty? You could like make a red, white, and blue palette because they come in quads. You could do a red, white, and blue quad. That's genius. And then you'd have it for Memorial Day. You'd have it for 4th of July. You'd have it for Labor Day. All right, look how pretty that is. It's actually super pretty. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna put in my crease to blend it. I might not put anything, honestly. And every eyelid can do this. Some eyelids just... Hey, Lena. Some eyelids just show it a little bit more than others. I was talking to this girl the other day and she had the biggest eyelids I've ever seen in my life and I was thinking all the different 
eyeshadow combos I could do on her. <laughs> Isn't that bad? I was like, man, I bet she has a fill day with eyeshadow. And then I've seen some like drag makeup where they like disappear their eyebrows and then they draw them way up here and then they just make themselves look like they have a bigger eyeshadow or eyelid. I was like, well, that's genius. This is such a pretty color. Oh my gosh. So thankful, optimistic, and seductive and victorious. Doesn't that just describe America? I think so. Okay. Maybe line the bottom with your blue liner. I do have the blue liner. I thought about possibly doing a blue wing. Hey, Molly. Looks like the French flag. Oh, right. Well, we can celebrate all. Um, I didn't think about that. Doing blue out here and then white and red. Oh, that'll be next year. <laughs> There's always next year. Um, okay, let me put my white down here. I forgot. I'm glad you reminded me. I'm going to put white down here. I'm trying to bring all the colors in on the bottom before I do my mascara. And then I'll do my blue. This blue is so pretty. Y'all, people get so scared of wearing blue. It actually pops colors of eyes really well. Okay. Perfect. Hey, Michelle. Are y'all loving it or what? Wait till you see the lips. The lips are the best part. Okay. So I really don't want to put anything in my crease because it's just like right there. But let's blend maybe. And I can like maybe, where's my blending brush? Um, let's just blend and see. Kind of soften that line right there in the crease. So it doesn't really take away the color, it just kind of softens the line. Perfect, see, you don't even need anything in your crease. Okay, okay. Now, I need to, that was just way so easy, guys. Somebody, everybody better be rocking some. I have blue eyes and I still have blue eyes. Yes, okay. So let me make sure. I don't think I had any fallout, but you never know. Oh, I haven't even taken the thing off this. Have I? Maybe. Okay. They child proof this too or what? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Do your lips with your blue lipstick. Red and white. I'm going to do a flag lips because I did it last year and everybody's been begging me to do it again. So we're going to actually legit do flag lips. But y'all can pick the blue. I will let y'all pick the blue. So start thinking about it. Do you want to see bright blue or do you want to see navy on the lips? Here I'll draw lines. Do you want to see navy or do I need to sharpen this one if you want to see this guy? Y'all pick. You pick. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do some brows and lashes to bring this in. I did bring my liquid blue liner because I thought about winging it out, but I don't want to like even mess with it. I feel like that like speaks for itself right now. Let's do brows. Everything's better with brows. And then we can think about it. I feel like, yeah. Cause like if you did just white and red, you could do a bright blue liner. That would be amazing. All right, y'all keep voting bright blue or navy. See the two colors. Thankfully I got my brows done right before I had my surgery. The last thing I remember talking about with the nurses that wheeled me out of my room was fingernails. We were all talking about our nails because they all had fun nails. Like the holographic nails, chrome nails. Anyway.
All right, this liner is too easy. If you don't know how to do your brows, guys, there's stencils on my website that you can get. And there is a brow stencil for every shape, I'm telling you. Everybody needs to tame their brows. I never used to do my brows as far as like fill them in. I would always wax them, but I never would fill them in, but it makes a world of difference. And this brow liner just goes on so easy. Hold on, I'm leaking. Hey Amanda. Okay, you're popping on just in time. Hey Courtney. Hey Mandy. Okay. to erase something that's the beautiful thing about brows you can er erase them okay let's do this other one Actually, this hair is what's throwing off this entire look. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't say that I'm feeling better. I actually feel worse today than I did yesterday, sadly. But, whatever. I didn't want to miss 4th of July. This is like one of my favorite looks to do. Because it's literally one of the only times you can walk around with a flag on your face and look normal. And no, I'm not gonna wear my hair like this. I'm probably gonna actually throw it up in a bun because I didn't put anything in it. But oh, it's just so nice to feel human for a minute, even if this is going to require a four hour nap afterwards. <laughs> I've never been so weak in my life. Hey Robin, hey Jamie, hey love, hey Miss Debbie. Corbin is good. You can probably hear him in the background. You'll have to watch the beginning. He jumped on. As soon as I clicked live, he ran off the couch and came over here. We're trying to get him to take a nap. When he's just home with us, he doesn't want to nap. So he either has to sleep with Brandon on the couch or go in the car. And like my mom comes over and just gets him down in his crib like it's no big deal. And yes, he still sleeps in a crib because he does not try to get out of his crib. And I'm totally okay with him staying in a crib as long as possible. Okay, so come back in with that cream shadow brush that has the Victorious on it and just go right under your eye. It's a perfect cleanup. Or if you use um, concealer, that's a good cleanup too. You know what else? If you need to wax your brows, here's a little trick for y'all. If you need to wax or your brows are, hey MJ, hey Brianna, are grown out a little bit, you need to use concealer to, um, you can use concealer to cover it, cover your spare brows. I don't know why my brows look so thick on camera when in person they are not thick. It's weird. I keep looking at them like, what the heck? Anyway, could be because my hands are really not steady right now, but that's okay. Okay, let's do lashes. I can't even take myself serious without lashes. <sighs> I wish I would have grabbed a hair tie instead of a clip because I am hot as a button. <sighs> Hold on. See, if you're going somewhere, you just start your hair down and then everything just comes together, right? Okay, let me put this back. I'm just so hot. Ugh. And Brandon won't get off the couch because we're trying to get Corbin to nap. His elbow, look, oh, how's his elbow? That's what you're asking about. Um, It looks a little bit better today, actually. We drew lines around it. He won't take medicine, so he wouldn't take the Benadryl. He took like one dose and realized it wasn't Tylenol, and yeah. So, okay, let's do lashes. That's what we were doing. Once we do lashes, I think the whole eye will look even better, and then we'll move to cheeks, because you got to give yourself color, okay? Everybody needs color on their cheeks. 
You do not want to be all one color, okay? So I'm going to grow lashes. I hope this didn't dry out in the week that I didn't use it. It's kind of old, so. Oh, well. All right, here we go. I've been meaning to open a new one, but, like, I swear I use all my stuff until it's, like, gone with the wind. Like, you can't use it anymore. All right, so I have to use Hey Allison this fiber mascara because otherwise I do not have the fake lash look and I don't really like fake lashes. I'll be honest with you. For one, it looks too much on those people. For two, I don't like the weight of the lashes holding my eyelid down. And if I can feel lashes on me, oh God, nope, not happening. So with this mascara, I can actually get that look without the weight or harming my lashes or whatever. Like I swear by this mascara and I know some people don't, which is totally fine, but I find usually they don't love it because of user error. Y'all, here's another thing about sinus surgery is it ain't glamorous it ain't glamorous it's almost like having a baby like there's nothing pretty to the recovery at all like the stuff that comes out of your nose when you have to rinse you have to wear this thing on your face yeah it's not glamorous but whatever Okay, let me, I'm just gonna keep growing my lashes, guys. Gel fiber gel. So the gel you wear just like regular mascara, so this is where people go wrong. The gel you wear like regular mascara, the fibers you do not. The fibers just go on the tips of your lashes. So right now, some of my lashes are shorter, so I just put fibers on the tips. Like, I don't even get near my eyeball. Therefore, nothing falls in my eyeball. Nothing feels like it's poking my eyeball. You literally just put them on the tip. But I don't wear liner on top. I like my lashes to really be bold and give me that look like I have an eyeliner. Hey, Tina. Okay, so you're about to see the best part once we do cheeks. Cheeks will take me like 30 seconds. And then, did y'all vote if you wanted navy or bright blue for the lips? Keep voting. I'll scroll back up and see what people said. And don't forget to drop a flag emoji if you shared it. So I can say thank you. I had sinus surgery. So like, I say sinus because it was full sinus. It wasn't just like a septoplasty or a balloon surgery. It was literally... See all these extras? Just roll it on the back of your hand. Smush them in. Um, it was legit. Sinus surgery, apparently, like 10 procedures. It was awful. It was awful. I did tell the doctor, though, hey, Cammy, Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Savannah, thank you for sharing. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Raina. Um, I did um, tell the doctor, like, whatever you do you better make sure this works because I'm not having this again like I can't voluntarily go through this again so I'm gonna just keep doing this until I feel like I have the length I want for my lashes okay look y'all couldn't even see them before and I'm growing me some good old lashes I can tell it's getting to the end though my gel That's what happens when you open. So I have a lot of people that open mascara and they use it like once every few months and then they wonder why it runs out and it's because once you open something, you gotta use it, guys. Any mascara will dry out. I feel like my dad was telling me there's some article going around about a lady who used expired makeup. I need to read it because I keep, like this blush is three years old because you barely use it. I mean, I use expired makeup, but maybe I shouldn't. I need to find the article, but I just am so thankful I can get falsy looking lashes without 
the weight or the glue or destroying my natural lashes. And actually when I wear this mascara more, my natural lashes are longer and healthier. It actually really nourishes my lashes, so I'm thankful for that. Okay, you can do like nine coats without it being too much, but I'm just gonna stop at however many that was. I'm huge on lashes. If you cannot see my lashes or I cannot see your lashes, I start to get anxiety. I cannot take myself serious if I cannot see my own eyelashes. Look at that. Ooh, hey Michelle, hey Diana, hey Rachel. All right, y'all keep voting bright blue or navy for the lips. Pick, pick, pick. They're actually gonna be a flag, so that's just gonna be the blue of the flag. I have a deviated set from having my nose broke. Can't bring myself to surgery though. I hear it's totally worth it, but I was getting, I think it's worth it if you have trouble breathing or like my deal was I get like seven to 10 sinus infections a year. Dang it, no. I need to stop talking. I get a lot of sinus infections a year and it got to the point where um, I was, I like my body's resistant to antibiotics and so I have other issues in my body caused by antibiotics and I already healed it once and then got pregnant and then it, everything came back like extreme so it was kind of necessity I've been putting it off for about 14 years um, I had trauma to the face 14 years ago if you knew me back then um, I got hit with a side mirror of a truck <laughs> and no I didn't walk into it Anyway, and so that was a residual injury. I've had so many surgeries from that one accident. I really could just go back in time and know what I know now and prevent all of it from happening. But we can't do that, so we're gonna move forward. Anyway, if you get sinus infections and you have trouble breathing everything, I hear it's worth it. But, hey Mary, navy, bright blue, navy, blue, bright, 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 I feel so awful how bad you're hey Kayla thank you I need to have sinus surgery but hesitant I have horrible sinus infections hey Kelsey love your eyes I'm definitely gonna catch a replay love your eyes thank you thanks for sharing Savannah hey Amanda it is 3d fiber lash mascara that's the first one I used I'm actually to grow my lashes okay I'm actually gonna use just regular this epic mascara so for people who already have bomb natural lashes this would be for you um, it's called epic for a reason but it gives volume length and curl as well but I like to use it as my final coat like just mm, just give you that mm. but I just I love having long lashes I'm just a lash person and this is what I wear down here. I'm about need to get new mascara for each of those. I think they've hit their quota, which has been a few months. I think I've, when did I open these last? I feel like it was in March. Hey Kristen, I used, thank you Lindsay, it's epic. I get four to five every year and can't breathe that. That was me, my left side. Wait, your entrance won't cover it? Okay, so back in the day, my entrance wouldn't cover the balloon surgery, but then entrances have changed. So I would have them check into that again. If they show that you're getting religious sinus infections and they can prove you have a deviated septum my entrance now covers it but literally back like when balloon surgery just came out it was gonna be like five thousand dollars which it's still let's be really honest it was still almost three thousand dollars to have it all done but whatever that's why I said it better be worth it so I used my blush, Seductive Blush. I used Optimistic Press Shadow and I used Thankful Press Shadow and I put it over Victorious Cream Shadow, which is just a matte cream shadow. And I put them underneath my eyes as well. 
But those lashes, guys, I can't stop staring at them. They really do give me life, like it makes a difference. Okay, so let's give ourselves some cheeky color. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. If you just jumped on, you're gonna have to watch the beginning. Oh, I did bring, there's this new eyeliner brush, but I don't even need it because I just totally used the other one. All right, so, y'all said bright blue. Bright blue, bright blue, bright blue, right? Hey guys, I'll look back into it. Um, hey Lily, um, I cannot say that I actually feel better, but I'm praying by this weekend as things like slowly, I don't know, come out apparently. Okay, so we'll do bright blue. I may need to sharpen this. Give me one second to grab my sharpener. Okay, so this is a bright blue liner that, it only comes out sporadically, but you could use any blue liner you have. You could even use blue cream shadow. You could use anything blue. So this is blue. Didn't y'all say bright blue? Yeah. The balloon diet thing? Balloon diet. All I know is Botox is covered. As long as your doctor says migraines. Well, I, I didn't get on, I didn't get the surgery for a diet, but I did lose about five pounds because you can't breathe out of your nose, so nothing tastes good. So you just, and you're like drowning while you eat, so you hurry and eat just a little bit enough to take medicine. So maybe I just need to lower my portions and I'll lose the last 10 pounds I want to lose. <laughs> oh my God. But if there's a balloon diet, oh my God. It wouldn't even surprise me. Oh God. Oh wait, what, we can't talk about lips right now. We haven't even done cheeks. What are y'all talking about? Okay. So I like glow on my cheeks. So I'm going to use this glow highlighter. It just came out. It's called Belize. It is gold. I like silver when I'm doing red, white, and blue, but my earrings have gold. So I just got to get over it. Right. And do gold. We're gonna do gold. So I'm gonna get my freshly cleaned blush brush. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna to touch it in the same blush I'm wearing on my eye. I'm gonna to touch the brush on there and touch the brush on the gold, okay? And we're gonna make our own highlighter blush. Okay. I actually have a favorite blush that is a highlighter blush, but since I was already using, I'm trying to simplify the process right now. Since I was already using um, this blush for my eyes, we're just gonna bring it on our cheeks, right? And I do it right on the apple of my cheekbone. Okay. And if the lighting was better, I feel like this would all look a lot better too, but whatever, we're just working with what we got right now. And don't be afraid of blush. Blush is controlled redness. Hey, Samantha, controlled redness, all right? This one actually goes a long way. It's a little bit darker than what I would wear on the normal. But I don't care. I love this highlighter. You can actually highlight, take that same, y'all know, and do a little bit like right in here. I use this brush for everything, y'all know. You know, you know. I mean, you can even use it as your highlighter brush. Make sure you get them cheeks popping. Shaka lock in. I haven't heard of that but know that they now have a capsule you swallow in the doctor's office, then they blow it up inside your stomach. I thought that was what you were speaking. Oh, no, I'm talking about balloon sinus surgery, but that's absolutely crazy. I mean, I feel like it would just keep growing as you ate, no? I don't know, that's weird. I mean, I don't wanna say it's weird because somebody may love it and it may have changed their life and I'm all for people changing their lives. Hey, Kirsten. But, okay, okay, so if you want some skinny, let's let, we're talking about being skinny, right? Okay, so just get you like a dark matte side of your bronzer or like a dark contour and just go right under your cheekbone on top of that sculpting stick. Create a shadow. Helps you look like 10 pounds smaller within like five minutes. I don't mind the shape of my nose, but some people like dab, oh, be soft. Some bronzer right there just to like you know just you know and always blend your makeup into your hairline guys do it under your jaw mm. give you a little palette right there mm. okay all right okay anybody else have nappy frizzy hair like I do 
Y'all, here's another red lip. If you're just like a solid red lip person, you'll need this guy. He like dries like a stain, but he goes on like a lipstick and it gives you an ombre look like right away. Oh my gosh, okay. I hate touching my face when my makeup's done. All right, we're moving to the, we're moving to the fun part, the lips. All right, let's create this. Um, yes, it's weird, I haven't done it. Someone I know did. Oh wow, I've never heard of that. Hey Kolbs, you popped on just in time for the flag lips. Hey Christy. Colby always likes my weird things. Okay, I'm gonna need a mirror for this. I am not artistic, but apparently last year people loved it, so they want to see it again. So y'all can be the judge. I feel like last year I used a navy and a navy, so this year I this is gonna work great. I'm using the bright blue and bright blue. And I like color on my lips, so I probably would wear blue lip anyway. Last year Brandon made me wipe it off. He wouldn't let me go to his friend's house with it. forget this one's a little bit sparkly. I don't ever really use it. I like to use a blue on your eye for a liner. Oh, it's so pretty. Last year, the navy look looked really good. These are all eyeshadow. I mean, eyeliners, by the way. You can wear them on your lips. And I nude out my lips with my makeup so that the color is true. It does not look like the Mexican flag, dude. Don't be a hater. Mexico's green, not blue. Hey, Jen. Hey, Karen. Okay. Oh, thank you for sharing. Y'all don't forget to tell me you shared or drop a flag emoji or something. Okay. I gotta stop talking or I'm gonna ask this up. I am digging this blue. I would totally wear blue lipstick, guys. I love color on lips. Like, did my TV stop working? My kids are probably gonna wake up. Is Brandon in there? Does anybody know where anybody is in my household right now? How pretty is that on the lips? I love it. Cass and I just died laughing. Peace out. <laughs> where are y'all at? Hey, Cass, my boo. Okay. Okay, so I couldn't find my real red liner. Somebody stole it or got legs and walked off. But this is another red liner. It's called Popular. It kind of matches my shirt. So we're gonna use that this year. So it's gonna be a little bit different, a lot different than last year. It's gonna be a way brighter flag. And this is actually a lip liner. So it goes on, y'all, so creamy and smooth. I love these liners. And they're very matte like they're just matte and they don't uh, transfer well this one's not matte he has a little bit of shimmer to him okay hey Afton hey Elisa Okay, so we have a red and blue. I'm trying to remember. Okay, let me come in with this white. Hey, Shireen. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Holly. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this could have been last night's, like, Try It Tuesday, right? Okay, so this is going to have, like, stars. Uh, maybe I should do the lines first. Let's do the lines. I feel like it's not going to be as vibrant because the red is a lot brighter than last year. I 
I gotta concentrate. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Megan. Have to get the red off look. We're gonna go back over the white. Hold on, guys. The more brighter we can get it. Okay, let's try to do some stars. look at how I did the stars last year. I feel like the stars, I feel like the stars were brighter last year on the navy. What do y'all think? Probably. Okay. Hey, Aubrey. Okay, so y'all get the picture. So now we're glowing. We have red, white, and blue swag lips. We can look at see if last year's bright versus bold dark. Because it's a darker blue, darker red last year. I would get so impatient, frustrated, and messed up. Oh, well, the lips are never going to be perfect, but. I feel like you need like a liquid, but you gotta improvise. Whatever you got on hand, you just do. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do is my favorite. Who has this body oil that will last you for a lifetime? Here's why, because literally you just go like this. Mm, it smells so good. And you just rub it all over for like a subtle shimmer. I love shimmer. I'll actually probably rub it all over my chest. It smells like summertime. It gives you that golden glow. I love it. Can y'all see? Probably not, but whatever. I'm loving it. Awesome. Hey, Carrie. I'm doing a lot. Okay. I know you do love it, Sandy. Sandy and I love glitter. We love all things glitter. All right, guys. So before my nose starts leaking, here is my go-to 4th of July look. And if we were going anywhere, I would rock it in public. No fear. What are people going to do? Look at my lips because I love America. Like, who cares? All right, guys. So thanks for hopping on with me and enjoying my calm post-surgery lives. Anyways, throw me some hearts, drop me a flag if you share it, and I hope everybody has a really, really, really good 4th of July. All right, see y'all.